Brooke Pinnock. This is Wendy McDowell. We are Cool Water. Just our little story. I met Wendy when I was a junior in high school. I was playing my guitar in the stairwell of my high school. And uh, this 12-year-old tiny little girl came walking up and plopped down at my feet with all of her hair and her big beautiful eyes and uh, she just had come help me written in her eyes and uh, from then on we have been connected. Wendy. Brooke's an excellent songwriter and even when we were kids she was writing songs and she was kind of my hero in that way. I really was enamored with it and I'm like wow I want to do that and we were both just immersed in music and music was a, a great part of our lives. I think it helped kind of guide us both and save us both at that different points. Saved my life, that's for sure. <laughs> in our lives. Um, but I had moved away. I went to go. I, Brooke and her mom took me in for a bit, and then I ended up down in uh, Florida with some other relatives. Um, my aunt took me in and made my way through school. We kept in touch, wrote letters back and forth, and uh, uh, I, Brooke had a family, and uh, I went to college. And when I went to college, I started really, really, I had been in bands for a long time, but I really started doing the singer-songwriter thing with the guitar in college. And uh, was really enjoying it and having a lot of fun with it. And, you know, I would fly up to, you know, hang out with Brooke, and Brooke would fly down to Florida and hang out with me. And on one of these occasions, probably 1995, uh, she flew down, and I was playing regularly uh, all around Gainesville at that time. I went to UF and uh, drug her up on stage with me. Yeah, yeah, because Wendy was this huge rock star in Florida. <laughs> I didn't even know it. I'm sitting in my closet playing my little songs all by myself, and she invites me down to Florida and pulls me up on stage, and it was such a wonderful experience. After my time visiting with you, came back home and started playing out regularly. You yeah. just inspired me. Well she to built play a, out. Yeah, you built a, a great yeah. band and well, we had a big band, big band and did a lot of songwriting and submitted a song to a songwriter's contest and out of the blue I won. And yeah. called you up. I was doing um like hurricane relief work in Florida. It was two thousand four and we had been hit by so many hurricanes that year. And I had a crew and we went up there to uh, Panama City. And I was on a roof, you know, drying in the roof. And miraculously, my cell phone rings and it's, it's Brooke. And she says, hey, I just won this songwriters contest in Seattle. Can you, can you come record with me? <laughs> I'm like, wow, I've been living in National Guard huts for eight months. Yes, I will come record with you. <laughs> <laughs> twist my arm. Yeah. So I, I hopped a plane and uh, and came up here and um, that was November 2004 and we've been playing music together uh, yeah. solid ever since then. I, yeah. Yeah. And sort of uh, renamed ourselves from the Brook Pack Band into Cool Water and it has been the most satisfying uh, music adventure I have ever been on. Well, we are uh, totally connected in many ways, uh, definitely, uh, musically and spiritually and as, as best friends and sisters. Uh, I couldn't ask for any better and uh, she's an amazing songwriter. Together we have a lot of original material and actually until about New Year's last year we did all original material so we just started working covers into our repertoire after ten or so years of doing yeah. solid originals, but we've got great songs and uh, we've got a good message and um, I think that it, it would be wonderful for us to be able to, to share some of that with with everybody. Um, so we, we really appreciate the opportunity yeah. to, to be on The Voice and hope you consider us. Hope you consider us. Enjoy your yeah. listen. Yeah. Thank you.